Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the next episode of This Is My Offer. Uh, my name is Ajit Kohle. I'm the worldwide partner leader for automotive segment within AWS. And with us, we have an esteemed guest from our premier partner, Tata Consultancy Services. Laksh, if you would, would like to introduce yourself. Yeah, hi. Uh, good, good morning, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Laksh Parthasarathy. I head Smart Mobility Group for TCS globally. I'm based in the US in Michigan. And when I say smart mobility, smart mobility covers entire uh, ecosystem of uh, the mobility from connected, autonomous, shared, and electrification. Yep. Great. Uh, so looking forward to this conversation on your offer. So we went through a very structured uh, process to ratify the solution on TCS mobility suite. So uh, Naksh, can you give us a little bit more insights into what prompted creation of the TCS mobility suite? What kind of demand signals did you see from your customers to make that investment? Yeah, thanks, uh, sure, Ajit. Um, so when we were looking at uh, identifying the opportunities for TCS and for our customers as they go through this mobility transformation, we found that the, the autonomous vehicle development as a process is inherently experimental, right? And it's also very iterative in, in terms of prototyping, testing, and looking at new algorithms. And we felt the current methods are highly time consuming and very iterative. And it's also not scalable, right? Because you have, when we come uh, to uh, deploy AVs at scale and at that too with a very, very high emphasis on the safety argument, the mm -hmm. current approaches and the methods uh, our customers and the startups were using were not scalable. And we felt that it's very important to solve two inherent problems uh, mm -hmm. in the autonomous development process, right? So one of them is the data management. Mm -hmm. when, when, when it comes to data management, uh, we are looking at petabyte scale data, right? And also the, the data of interest is like looking for a needle in a haystack. There's a humongous amount of millions and millions of miles being driven and data being collected, but what is the data of use? The, what mm -hmm. we call data of interest and the interoperability or the standardization that is involved. Right. Those are the three fundamental components of data management that we found uh, where there's a huge uh, opportunity for improvement. Mm -hmm. And the second aspect is the time to market, mm -hmm. right? Because again, uh, when, while there has been a lot of hype about autonomous vehicle, there is also a component of safety. And we don't want to rush things to market in a, in a manner which can be, and we have seen incidents or incidences of fatalities and others in the market, but we definitely want to make sure that we do it right, but we we also do it in a form of uh, proper validation and faster time, and which means that we need training data sets, mm -hmm. right? The da training data sets at scale, which is accurate, reliable, and verifiable. And also we need to curate this data uh, to ensure that we validate it enough, but we don't, uh, and the whole aspect of uh, coverage metric, how much of testing is good enough to be safe, right? Yeah. So those are the two, I would say, signals that uh, we were looking and which uh, which indicated that there is an opportunity and a white space for us to solve. Okay. Now, I think that's great. So as you built these differentiated features, did you get any customer feedback around those features? And how was it resonating in the market as you took, took and had those customer conversations? See, de yes, definitely, we have been we have been consistently or constantly talking to our customers and seeing okay, how are they doing it today, and are there better approaches? For example, we talked about when we talked about data curation or simulation based testing. There are elements of uh, simulation that people are doing uh, uh, from from, a, from a creating those edge cases or corner cases, right? So when we talk to our customers, that how would it be if you uh, if we are able to create uh, the ODD specific test case scenarios that customers can validate against and have the training data at scale, right? And there was there was there's a uh, and the customers felt and we have we have ex evidence of accelerating the AV development with our customers using these approaches. Mm -hmm. No, no, that's awesome, uh, great, and it is so well aligned with our overarching strategic workloads from our AWS perspective of how we use the ASM model for autonomous vehicle development. So this fits right into the offerings and what we have to offer and things that we have built together. 
So with the delightful, great conversation, would love to see a demo. Do you have something that you can demonstrate how all this comes alive? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Before I, I just want to give a context of what I'm going to demo and then quickly jump into a demo immediately. Perfect. So from a TCS standpoint, we have brought this together under uh, TCS Mobility Suite as our solution. And there are two subcomponents or two uh, solutions underneath, which is uh, uh, Mobility Suite Data Annotation Studio and Mobility Suite Smart Validation. And both are APN listed uh, platforms okay. and solution. So the data annotation studio addresses the entire data pipeline part of it, right? The entire data management. How do we manage that petabyte scale of data, creating and indexing and tagging those data to find the visualization part of it. And also the, the entire workflow orchestration of um, uh, the multimodal uh, data, including cameras, LIDARs, et cetera, and creating those large scale data labeling uh, pipeline and it it right. completely streamlines the annotation process right and also the model management which is the most important part of it right once you have the data the entire model management the ai tools that needs to be done right, right. that's the annotation studio solution the second part is which i which i'm very passionate about is the smart validation which mm -hmm. we have brought in gen ai and cognitive tools to create those edge cases right mm -hmm. uh, it it's not uh, a pure brute force or a combinatorial method are left to the AV developers imagination to test, right? Like in a standard right. traditional IT world or in our ICE model, ICE vehicles, right? We do, we come up with test case and validations here. You are treating the vehicle like a human, how much right. you test, right? And we have seen with reducing from 10 power 23 test cases to even 10 power 3, 10 power 4 test cases, we get the same coverage in terms of validation right that's the kind of numbers we are looking at because when you want to see not that if you are not in a proving ground even in simulation it, it's going to cost you so much compute so much uh, time etc right so we want to and we in the, with the same philosophy or for uh, uh, ai for good we want to make sure that we test enough but we and achieve the same coverage right and also bring in that natural language processing to create those test cases and create the synthetic data, right? Those are the two components where mm -hmm. we have built in Gen AI into this now to create those large language models for creating those test cases and the data pipeline. So let me quickly quickly go to go and uh, show you some snippets of the solution. That is, um, if you're able to um, visualize this, uh, so like I said, there are the entire we have looked at it from an autonomous development value chain perspective. Right. Uh, so the two solutions that we have is the data annotation studio and the smart validation. It covers the entire validation from data ingestion, the model training to the validation of the AV algorithm, right? Mm -hmm. And if you, and I'll take piece at a time. And uh, if you, if you're looking at the ingest part of it, right, this, this is the tool that talks about once you've uh, ingested the data, I need to find the data of interest, which I can use to train my model. So the data analysis component of this tool ensures that I am able to curate the data, I'm able to tag the data and visualize it, right? So this is one example of a use case that in from the entire data set, I have taken a data of interest that I needed and created this query. And I can export this data into any other solutions with, with the only those conditions that I want to I'm interested in, for example, I'm building a model for perception. I only need that certain data set. Right. So now that once I've ingested and curated the data, I need to make sure that I'm creating the uh, uh, edge cases, right? Okay. So this is the one, this is the one that I talked about where we are building gen, using Gen AI to take natural language data from anybody in the world, right? We can create, somebody can explain to me a test case that they have seen today morning somewhere while coming to office or an engineer can create this data and using uh, large language models, we are mm -hmm. creating test cases per some standards like open scenario in this case, right? We have created, a, we have, we have creating open scenario standard of a test case. And since this, I'm creating the synthetic image for it or synthetic scenario for it. But mm -hmm. once I have a synthetic scenario, I can add in additional elements like additional lane, more hazard conditions, weather conditions, and creating a plethora of test scenarios that, uh, can be tested against, right? So this is the part where I don't need to invest my time creating scenes one at a time. 
or creating uh, the test cases that, okay, should I have four lanes with the vehicle running at 50 miles, 60 miles? All this is brought together by generative AI models here, right? And I'm only focused on those corner cases, which are very, very, which I cannot test in a proving ground without uh, any hazardous condition, right? right? So the next part is the model building. So this is where data annotation studio comes in, where we take this edge case that I've created just now and uh, creating those custom model is both time consuming and cost intensive, right? So we have created this entire pipeline to curate, label and provide training data at scale, right? And th this entire pipeline is inherently built uh, to make sure that it's all containerized and uh, that it's con pre-configured, right? So using multiple AWS uh, components, uh, which has gone through the entire framework uh, of well-architected uh, uh, framework, etc. So this solution creates those models that are ready to be, uh, which which creates training data at scale. Right. right? Then the 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 last part is the most important part where using all the data and the edge cases I've created for every operational design domain that I want to test, right? I'm creating those simulation test scenarios and the smart validation and testing it against. And it, it, it seamlessly integrates with any simulation tool of customer's choice mm -hmm. and running these pipelines of test cases and ensuring that uh, the test cases that we identified under the smart validation with minimal set of test cases it ensures and it comes back that, okay, this test case gets you 90 plus percentage of coverage for that operational design domain. And these are the X test cases that is yet to be tested, right? And you can go back and tweak and uh, recreate additional test cases pretty quickly, right? So this ent the, the way it is set up is the entire value chain of from the data collection, ingestion, curation, uh, model training, and validation comes mm -hmm. together with these uh, two solutions uh, coming in. Yeah, I hope you had a quick uh, view of our or a snippet of our solution, Ajit. Well, absolutely, this is fabulous, right? To going all the way from ingestion to getting the validation done and everything in between, and and optimizing it as you go, being very cost conscious and how yes. this offering is coming together is very fascinating. Uh, this is super exciting. I hope our customers are as excited as I am. So. If they want to get started and engage uh, TCS on this journey, what is the best approach for them to engage you? See, so, so typically as, as a uh, services and a consulting company, we want to make sure that we work with the customers in architecting what the tool chain should be for them, right? We, we start right. there. Obviously, there are two. These solutions are, uh, while they, they are part of the same tool chain, they can be looked at as a component also. Right. If some customers want to say that, okay, I need training data at scale or I need annotation at scale or annotation as a service, for example, right? Mm -hmm. Or we can implement these, both these, either of the solutions or both the solutions in the customer environment. So it, it starts with creating the, uh, probably doing a quick assessment of what is the uh, ODD they are working against, what is the data collection mechanism that they have and putting this data pipeline in place for them is where we start, right? And then we can work with them in accelerating the feature development process through the AV workbench that we can deploy for them and integrate that into this tool chain. Obviously, customers have their own choice of simulation tools. Customers have their own choice of data collection mechanisms. We can integrate all these into this environment or into this whole process. No, that's great. You know, you're starting where the customer are in their journey on the autonomous vehicle development. So that is amazing. So uh, to get in touch with you, Laksh, would, would it be best for them to get in touch with you directly or would you like to uh, ask them to go to a particular website to get started? Yeah, there, there's always a mechanism for us, for them to reach us through teachers.com and uh, our, obviously my email ID, my name, everything is there. We have a uh, teachers.com link that will make it available through this and it has an email ID through which they can reach to my our the larger team of TCS, which is focusing on mobility. So there are many mechanisms to reach out. There's an autoscape.solutions at tcs.com. That's the formal mail ID, uh, which Autoscape, by the way, used to be the previous name for the solution. So uh, that email ID is uh, is one mechanism for them to reach out to us, uh, Ajit. Okay, excellent. This is great. Again, thank you so much for your time for this particular session on This Is My Offer. With this, we'll go and conclude this particular episode. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ajit, for your time.